and I am back with a brand new episode of the Alexander Submod Rise of Persia where we as the Persians basically rewrite history and right now I believe the mod is a, uh, the sub mod is a little passive because I am simply playing I mean this campaign is more or less designed for multiplayer as opposed to uh, more single player but this is the single player version so I will try my best to declare war on Alexander soon once we have dealt with this civil war which we have with these uh, Parthian nobles that are around here and the second thing is is that this is going to be more cinematic as you you will have just seen the cinematic intro there will be some cinematics in between I will try and adjust uh, the lighting to make sure that it isn't uh, you know too much uh, in your face and I'll try my best that's all I can do so don't forget to leave a like share comment and subscribe and please enjoy and do enjoy the episode okay so as you can see our treasury is like 164k we have 27,000 in income right now we'll be basically declaring war on the party nova so they're taking Damascus and Palrimia and is our army ready? My no. Lord. We'll wait for one more turn. He fight for you, my lord. Yes. And yeah, because I, I really want to rewrite Alexander's history. I mean, the Persians were literally the most badass people of their time. So let's see when way to what happens. Okay. So right now, we'll get this army led by General Khoury and the siege Damascus. Right, so we got that and we'll get this army here. should give us more of an attack this time. I mean, it's not really much, but we'll still be able to win. Will and who was Rebel? Someone has Rebel. Right. And you never thought that you would have seen the Persians in Arabia Felix, but they are. This land is ours, and this land belongs to the Persian Empire. That is, of course, a good thing. But we shall have to wait and see for now. Uh, for now really so let's see where is the revolt mission issued household okay fine let's go to rebellion and of course this will be as easy as so all we need to do is to just attack anybody who tries to oppose the might of Persia will fe will see that they cannot go against the Shah which is Darius and this Shah historically he lost the Battle of Gogamela against Alexander. But in this campaign and in this history, this is not the case. It really isn't. Soon or, soon or later, these guys are going to sally out. But For honor and great glory. we shall go We shall go to victory. So let's see. Can we hire? Yeah, we can. Yep. We can get an entire army. Uh, let's do... That's very high. we can sack hmm we could liberate but then liberating is not so much I just want to occupy at your command as for you you're going to be yeah you're going to attack these guys and we'll wait and see we'll wait and watch what happens okay so let's have a look okay Yes, this event has been appearing a lot, and I really wish there was more for more more events that were happening in the Alexander Submod. So let's just give him office for the time being, and I shall send you to Syria, and I shall send you to Arabia, Felix. Shall send you. To media and you to Kipros. I shall send you over here. And pretty much what I've been doing in this campaign is literally all your governors put them in the region, 
and keep doing this every single turn. If you do this, then at least public order is kept. Right, so let's upgrade. Yeah, let's give you... And let's give you this. Now give you siege experts. And we'll end this turn. Who else? Okay, I'll take... Yeah. Okay, I'll give you this. And... Yeah. Okay, so that's all done. An edict. I will see the edict later. We shall have syncretism and one I am really annoyed that the Armenians they stole Paul Vimir from me this is wrong how could they have stolen Paul Vimir from me come on man very well then I'll just ban this army because it's not needed oh, come on it's not right it's absolutely not right that you know that uh, okay so where are they in path here right Right. Let's send you to Parthia. So worry about food and we'll give... Yep. So as you can see, there, there's a lot of... Uh, I don't know how to say it, but we are... Hmm. I'm going to embezzle funds. How... Okay, embezzle more funds. Nope. Keep embezzling funds. I just because this guy, he's a really good, uh, you know, politician. Okay, so now I'll send you over to media. Yep, send you over there, and you can have a wife. And I shall send you over to okay, Felix. And now I'll send you over to. Anyone else I can send? Mm. Send you over to Armenia. And I'll send you over to. Ah, it seems we're worsening between neighbors, which is not good. Not good at all. You know, things change half the time. Okay. I'll send you over to Haga. Okay, when I send diplomats, it, it somehow ruins relations for some reason. I don't know why it, loves, it likes to do that, but it does. So, now is the time to declare war on Alexander. Welcome! The day is already old and there is... Hera has surely turned her back on your land. Now you will feel the pain of fire and sword. Hmm... Wait, the Gallic tribes were never on us. Oh, and they're literally at war with the whole Persian Empire. Yeah, we we got... Well, we're not... Okay. So I'm going to give it a few turns. Let's see if Alexander's army even uh, even arrives in the Persian Empire. How can I because, you know, the, the way the campaign is structured is basically like... If you play Persia, right? You're... If you play like... um like like uh darren and darren and jackie fish w darren and jackie fish when they're doing their head-to-head -head campaign they, it sort of works like that but since it's a single player you know things might change we'll have to wait and see Okay, so, our forces have trampled this, yep, ah, so the diplomat has betrayed me, 
Awesome. And uh, yes, you betrayed me. You. Okay, the Syracusans like us. Okay. Right. You're the wife of Darius, but you betrayed us for the. For those people. No, I don't understand. I will send you to Syria. And. I'll see about the hair later. Right, let's do our annual checks. Let's get our governors, pretty much. Seeing as Alexander has not made his well, Lydia is moving fast. Well, if the Lydians can pretty much deal with this, all credit to them. I'm gonna raise an army. We need an army. If you're noble, ready for orders. Now I shall raise an army. Are you ready to serve? Got a bunch of you guys. Okay, so they're be these guys have taken, so we're gonna basically destroy them. And we'll occupy. So we do this and we'll yeah, I'll basically do the public checks. I was expecting more action to be honest. My lord. But it seems that Alexander's army isn't they, yeah, they're not moving. As much as I want them to. Because you know it would be cool if they could just just come. I mean Alexander is the greatest general. But oh my look at the Lydians. The Lydians are just expanding. Well, you know what, that's a good thing. That is a good thing, because that means history has been rewritten. And if history is being rewritten, then why not? You know, why not? This is a campaign meant to show that, you know, that the Persians won. Well, Persians are winning, but they have new enemies. And who are these new enemies, you might say? Well, it's the Armenians. Because they are really strong. And then you have these guys over here and these guys over here. And of course they're the vassal of the Persian Empire, but I don't like them. They've, Whenever there has been a civil war, these guys have come in and stolen my territory. Could I invade Egypt? I could, but I have no interest in Egypt if I'm honest. Carthage, however, and the rest of this world here, is something I do have an interest in. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Meanwhile, we'll build this army and then after this, we'll see what happens. There's a settlement lost, we got it. There is a trouble here, yeah, there's always a trouble populace. So let us send you to Syria. And let us... Your secrets are safe. It is an honor to serve. How can I serve you? My lord, I try. My words are used to direct. You can see here, there is some problems. This this guy here, Artava Artavadia, okay? Artavadia, if I'm saying it right. He led a campaign led by that ordered by Darius to conquer the these treacherous Arabian uh, you know states because the kingdom of Mala Malakathimia had wanted to get rid of these annoying people so Artavadia led his army all the way here and conquered Saba and then we declared war on these guys as well so Artavadia wants to become the emperor of the Persian Empire he literally does but Darius has made sure to keep his grip away from the halls of power. 
and so he will send him to Akrosta. But Artavadi is a very powerful general. His skill shouldn't be underestimated. And the Lydians, in, in the meanwhile, basically, they have our, our men, are literally expanded. But I really want to see if the Macedonians will respond. And meanwhile, while we are building over this, we literally will be in civil technology. We're doing really fantastic. We, d we don't have the heavy cavalry though, which is a bit of a worry. And I do want, you know, I do want heavy cavalry. So we'll do that, and we'll end this turn. Ah, in the dark of the night, steps need to be taken into terrible events, foreshadowed by the dream are to be averted. What would you have us do? Darkness has entered the world, and it is... We must pray to our Mazda to make offerings to return our people to the light, lest should there be an Alexander that tries to destroy us. Aha! Artavadi has returned with a famous bard, as of course he is the most disloyal man in the entire empire. But we shall have to wait and see. Yes, we shall have to secure loyalty for the time being. We are protected for now, but only three more turns before civil war starts again. How has our army been built? We fight for you, my lord. You fight? You fight for war. You fight for honor. You fight for glory. Sooner or later we'll get this army and we'll be ready to march into Macedonian lands. Aha! Uh -huh. Your diplomat has, has a golden tongue. The other faction has offered you an entire settlement. Oh, fantastic! This is fantastic! Gunzak is now ours! Yes! I am very, very impressed. Very, very impressed, but we also have unhappy populists, so let's go and deal with them first. They gave they gifted us an entire province. This is something I am really, really happy about. But we cannot build yet because we need to save money. How long? It will take... Okay, fine. And as you can see here, Odessos is now in the hands of Lydia. So it seems Alexander the Great will be destroyed. Sooner or later, we will then have to build a new Persian Empire. More or less. We have in Assyria, I shall build one here. Which will take some time of course. So let's see. Now get all these governors here. Okay, let's give you expert supervisor. And yeah. Very cheerful, very accomplished, and he's also a scout as well. Ignorance is your service. Such beautiful music. I'm uh, playing with the Cyrus campaign music mode, so that's why. And as much we shall have to wait and see who is unhappy. How? I wish I could recruit a dignitary, but I can't because I need more. Uh, but we shall wait and see. Most of these vassal states are literally mine, you know? They all belong to me. But uh, the Armenians, they're tough. And they're really tough fighters, so I do not underestimate any of them. They're really tough. So there's Thrace. So it seems Alexander's dream may be finished. I, for one, 
approve of it. Well, that sucks. Hey, who executed our diplomat? So we lost a member of the royal family. Show, yeah. Let's just have a look. Who have we lost? Oh, that's odd. Where's Arthur Radio? You know Arthur Radio? I want to send you to. I'll send you to Carthage. And I want to send you to Syracuse. First we'll deal with these guys. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm trying to maintain public order, but public order is hard to keep. It's hard. As you can see, I'll do my daily checks of these guys. And with this army, we shall go all the way to Macedon. Let a new Persian invasion of Greece begin. Yep, we do you. Done, 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 done. Right. Can I serve you? A lot of people are encouraged, which is fantastic. But we'll have to wait and see. We will recruit you. Okay, uh huh. Artavadia, I think he really likes. Yeah, he really likes uh, diplomacy. Why is it that the royal family is always betraying me? Right, that's it. Right, let's see. How much risk are we in terms of. Uh, yeah, but I think it is better. Your command. Proof of the fact 
that uh, you know this campaign is proven to be an alternate history well just look at this this is Macedon or Macedon the great capital of Pella and Philopolis is burning and I love the Firefox I really do but the city is absolutely burning this is Greece, this is Macedon, this is the great lands of the Greeks and it is burning and the send my entire army across here. Well then, you'll see a cinematic showing the Lydians basically, well, the Persians literally besieging Pella and yeah, I think we'll call it an end. One more turn and then we'll call it, a, we'll call it an end. Right, so take us some time before we can fully march into these lands yeah but man this is this is you know this is amazing this is just amazing that's all I can say Okay, so don't forget to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe.